Hello, everyone. Uh, Jim Lenick from Lenick Law. Today, uh, I want to comment on title issues and how they affect uh, your purchase of real property. Um, in other words, when you're buying something, how do you know really what you're buying? Uh, we refer to property, whether it's commercial or residential, by a street address. But from a legal standpoint, that doesn't really tell us enough, and it doesn't tell you that you're buying what uh, you think you're buying or what you bargained for. So the next thing that we look to is what's called a meets and bounds description, and that's the surveyor's uh, description of the property that you're buying. So if you've ever seen a survey, uh, there are distances um, and uh, minutes and designations for compass directions around the perimeter of the survey. And uh, that translates into a written legal description called the meets and bounds description. So it starts out at one point and it works its way around uh, in a counterclockwise, uh, in a clockwise uh, direction of the property. And that tells us exactly what you're buying. Um, but that's not something that translates into something that uh, everyone is used to seeing. Uh, but the survey itself, uh, most people have seen something like a survey. It shows a, an outline of the property. It shows if there are any buildings on the property and so on. And uh, that becomes important from a title standpoint and knowing what you're buying. Um, there's usually a dark line around the perimeter of the property. And that shows what you're supposed to be buying. And then superimposed on that survey are uh, various items, maybe sheds, fences, walls, and other things. Um, and it's important to know where those things are in relation to that dark line on the property, um, because that tells us whether uh, the structures that exist, whether they're violating any local codes, whether they're outside the boundary lines of your property, whether they're inside the boundary lines of your property, and, uh, and that affects what you're buying. So uh, my suggestion is always to get a new survey for your property because things change. If you have a survey that's given to us by the other party, uh, the designations that are on there for fences and so on may be old, they may have replaced those fences, and you could be out of possession of part of your property, and then you're really not buying what you bargained for. So bottom line is it's important to investigate. Um, we've handled thousands of real estate transactions over the last 30 years. And uh, my wife, Lisa, and I'd be happy to consult with you on any real estate transaction and assist you in making sure that you really are getting what you bargained for. Thanks. Jim Lenick from Lenick Law.